with Twinkling My Twinklers, it's your girl Twinkle Toes Liz. And today, guys, we are going to be cleaning out the horse stalls as usual. And uh, since it's the winter time, and sorry if I'm moving the camera a lot, it's because I'm having tripod problems. Because <laughs> I don't have my camera on the tripod. So what we're going to do is do the horse stalls. i got to feed the horses first. Um, but before we get any further into the video, you guys know what to do already if you're new. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, oh wait, let me put this in order. As the pop-up comes up, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and hit that bell notification to make sure you are notified. So uh, I'm going to set up my uh, tripod so then I can get these, uh, I can get the food for the ponies. And... Uh, yeah, so I will be right back. Okay guys, so sorry if the angle is bad. I might need to rearrange the camera a little bit more. And uh, I need to switch out the chickens because they're fighting apparently. Yes, we have chickens in our barn. That doesn't work well. Sorry, I can't really multitask. Uh, I am I'm not really good at multitasking. Also, it's very hard since I have not been um, uploading recently is because I'm actually preparing, I'm actually getting a job, guys. Like a nine to five kind of job, but I'm only working five hours, so I won't be doing YouTube very much. But I've tried my best, I mean, I've been busy a lot lately, that's why, the reason. And I know influencers would always tell you, never say that you're busy for this, you're busy for that, because no one wants to hear it on YouTube, but I feel like I need to tell you guys, you know? So, you know, because I just like to tell people, like, hey, what's going on, this is happening, you know? Give you guys an update, what's going on with me, stuff, so. So that's basically how to do all the horses, um, the hay that they did not eat is basically they peed on it, so I'm going to waste of food, and uh, we have, I don't know if I remember if I told you guys that we now have like well, the last time I showed you guys is their pasture, their new pasture that's attached to the barn is now fully made. So now they can run um, in and out whenever they please. Well, not quite yet because we have hay nearby the door and they'll just eat it instead and we let them. So what we're planning to do is we're, um, basically we finish that hay on the back end of the wall and then when they're done and it's just the hay on the top then we can let them so we, do, we know they're not going to eat the hay well we're not looking so that's kind of the things that are happening right now Every 
single day. But I don't have to do it every day this time for now because the horses are gonna stay out for a little while because they need to grow their fur. That's uh, done one horse doll. Now we need to do the next one. So I'll be right back again. Okay guys, so sorry about the camera angle again. Um, I know in the first clip it's like very down, but now I kind of did it, so. So yeah, and usually when I'm doing work I have to work hard on it because like I said our our stalls are not cemented they are dirt like pure dirt so they do get muddy
have is sawdust. Now this time we went to get sawdust today and the guy who um, gives us the sawdust said there was not much left so we only got a little bit in the bag. It's not enough for one day but it's good enough for tonight probably. Or whenever the horses like use it, or should I say pony, they're not really horses. We don't know what breed they are, so... So, that's a bummer. I wish I had the money so that I can call in a vet to do a DNA test on them. Because they were rescued. They were rescued. Um, I don't know how my aunt got them. From, I think a friend that rescued them uh, from an abusive state and then my aunt gave them to me for my birthday so yeah there's a lot about these ponies I don't know of their background their history all I know is they were feared by men and so I wish if I was a horse trainer I would know how to train them to overcome but they're doing pretty good like my dad being around them and stuff Next step, what I want to do for this spring is uh, train them for riding, but again, I have no skill on training horses, and uh, I look on YouTube, the fundamentals and stuff, how to train horses, it looks easy on YouTube, but you know, it, it's better if I learn in person. Like if somebody were to come over in person that knows how to train horses can help me out. Because what I'm hoping I could do in the spring is um, give the ponies a bath. And if you guys don't know, they've never had a bath in their life. They they're even they don't even know what the hose is. They're so scared of it, kind of thing. So I don't know. Like, can you give a horse a bath with just a sponge, or do you have to use a hose, or how do you train them for bathing and stuff? So, so yeah, like I need someone who can help me with training. And I know a lot of people say, oh, just look on YouTube. It costs a lot of money to hire someone. I know it costs a lot of money to hire someone. Um, but, you know, I, it's, it's just, to me, it's better. Um, yeah, so... I think we're done here. guys can see exactly what I'm doing. There. Okay. So I'm 
So, those of you guys who own horses, this is basically how I spread the sawdust. We don't have a sister. So, this is how we spread the sawdust. Now, we're only able, since we only have a little bit, we can only spread it towards where they go to the bathroom and stuff. So, if we had cement in our stalls, uh, it'd be easier to scoop. That's how I spread it. Now, to the other stall. Okay, so be right back. Okay, you guys. So, I know I keep saying I'll be right back. It's basically how I, um, basically the, how I say I'm gonna end a clip. Kind of thing. So, if you guys have any other ideas on what I should say before I end the clip, um, because I'm not good at editing. That's why I say, for every clip, it's like, I'll be right back, I'll be right back. So, you know, it's clip one to clip two and stuff. So, yeah. Oh, okay, on the other side. It's just all over here. All over here. Yeah. I like this kind of sawdust because do that. Just, you know, throw it around kind of thing. And I'd like to go to spots where it's like all wet so that the sawdust can soak it and stuff. I'll probably do that tomorrow or something. There we go. That was me cleaning out the uh, salt. So, yeah. So now I'm going to switch the camera back to me again for the last time. I will be right back. Okay guys, so that's it for cleaning the farm time, and I know you guys seen it probably a lot of times, but it's like the only thing I can show you entertainment for now, and as you guys know, I suck at making ideas for a video. It is so hard, unless you guys have tips, what you want me to do, dino mask, go out somewhere, vlogging with my dino mask, or whatever you guys can think of you want me to do that will give you guys some entertainment and something for you guys to like and stuff like you know something you guys like to see give me tips give me advice what do you want me to do they'll intrigue your um, interest um, so yeah I'm gonna end this video here hope you guys enjoy it sorry about the light it is very very bright and that's why you can't really see me I look like some sort of angel or something um, well, yeah, I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video. And, uh, hope you don't mind my editing. And, uh, yeah. And my brother's chicken's just, uh, tearing up the stalls right now. Um, but anyways, ending it off here. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as you did. And don't forget, like the pop-up said in the beginning. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the post notifications. Make sure you are notified. 
and as usual I will twinkle you guys in the next video bye <laughs> Tell me like a hell cut.